thank you, Mr. Ambassador. Uh, I'm, uh, I would like to uh, thank uh, uh, Ambassador uh, Peck and his uh, uh, staff for inviting us today and giving me the opportunity to uh, be here and uh, talk to you about uh, McMaster University and uh, what we do here. And basically, I'm here to represent the Office of the Vice President of Research and International Affairs at McMaster University and deliver the main message that uh, we are really open for collaborations and, uh, and business. Uh, before proceeding, I would say that uh, I have uh, a very good understanding of the Canadian system, of the Canadian system, of course, because I worked in Canada for uh, many, many years and uh, also of uh, the uh, Greek Canadian, uh, the Greek uh, uh, system of higher education because I worked at the University of Aegean for uh, eight years, three of which uh, I was the chair of the uh, Department of Geography there. Uh, well, I'll uh, tell you Uh, a little bit about uh, my master universities. A little bit about my master university. Well, uh, last year we uh, uh, celebrated uh, 125 years. Uh, not bad for uh, a university that operates in, uh, uh, in a country like Canada, with not a very very long history. Uh, we have about the number of uh, graduate and undergraduate students it has uh, increased dramatically. Uh, when uh, I went there, and traditionally we had about 13,000 undergraduate students and a couple of thousand graduate students, so about uh, 15,000 uh, 15, in all. Uh, over the last uh, couple of decades, the number has climbed to uh, about double that. So there is a uh, uh, more than 1,300 uh, full-time faculty <coughs> members uh, and uh, the McMaster faculty has grown considerably uh, in the last few years. Uh, there are six faculties, uh, Health Sciences, Engineering, Business, Humanities, Science and Social Sciences. Uh, we have about 140 uh, undergraduate uh, degree programs and uh, more than 100 masters and PhD programs. Uh, students and faculty come from uh, many different countries, more than 80 countries uh, around the world, and uh, uh, we have uh, a great number of uh, exchange agreements, which uh, we hope we are going to increase this number uh, as a result of this, uh, of this forum. Uh, and many, many alumni around the world. I know many uh, people from my master. One is sitting beside me here. Uh, no, you are not recording. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the strategic initiatives at uh, uh, my master, uh, there is uh, automotive research that is going on, water research, biomedical research. Uh, nutrition activity and health, sustainable energy, uh, aging, digital scholarship. Uh, well, we do believe that the basic philosophy is that uh, uh, universities are an engine <coughs> of uh, uh, prosperity, and uh, especially in, in developed countries, the name of the game is innovation. But innovation alone is not, uh, is not enough. Uh, you also need to uh, connect with industry and have this, this commercialization is also one of the uh, very important aspects of, uh, of, of innovation. Uh, as I, I'm going to give you a, just an example of uh, the types of initiatives that my master is taking uh, to be able to connect research with uh, industry. And, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the McMaster Innovation Park and development that started in the last few years. So we have about, uh, I mean, this is, this is a piece of land that was acquired relatively close to the campus. It's about 37 acres. Uh, it's a large tract of land uh, and it's dedicated to innovation. We call it the McMaster.
master innovation talk. Uh, it includes the federal research, uh, uh, the federal research lab, the CANMED, which moved from Otto Batman Master because uh, of the material science activity that is going on at, at McMaster. And also, most recently, we have uh, the McMaster Automotive Resource Center, uh, which was established uh, just, just a few months ago, uh, a $26 million initiative. So the uh, city of Camden, acknowledging the importance of innovation uh, is uh, planning to create all this district around this uh, around this uh, uh, innovation center, which we call the uh, West Hamilton uh, Innovation District. It's the whole district. Uh, so this used to be an old factory, as you can see there. Uh, this was an abandoned factory uh, and uh, we moved from this to something like this and uh, the overall plan is to go to something like this. So uh, this is uh, the cabinet facility, fairly new, about 110 researchers are working there. And, uh, more recently, as I mentioned, is MARC, the McMaster Automotive Resource Center, uh, which uh, houses over 200 researchers already, and uh, most of them are coming from uh, different parts uh, of the world. So it's an 80,000 square feet uh, facility, and uh, with uh, huge contacts with uh, the uh, huge contacts with uh, industry. So, uh, main research areas, I mean, these are all in the slides. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that. Uh, and uh, I'm going to leave you with some words from Aristotle, since we are in uh, uh, the land of the great philosophers, that excellence has to be uh, an everyday practice. Thank you.